Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. This is episode number 13, Assessing the Damage, um, progress update number four. If you missed last week's episode, go back and check it out. It was episode number 12, Hanging by a Thread, and it also included an update on my dad. So um, let's dive into episode number 13, Assessing the Damage, progress update number four. So I was supposed to um, do my progress update number four on June 29, but um, unfortunately with everything that was going on with my dad and um, him passing and me and my fiance being um, completely inundated with all of the things that needed to happen for taking care of his home um, and also being in a different gym where they didn't really have every single thing that I needed um, to do my videos that I was supposed to do for my coach this time. Uh, I reached out to her and let her know what was going on and we decided that we would just go ahead and wait for my um, progress photos and updates uh, until after I returned back to San Diego. So as I'm recording this, I got back into town, um, back home into San Diego yesterday and last night was probably the first night that I had some fairly decent sleep, um, I'm still really tired and actually I'm gonna <laughs> go straight to bed after um, recording this, even though it's like stupid early. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, um, assessing the damage, uh, there definitely was some damage. I tried really hard to follow along with my nutrition plan, um, but at some point, I mean, even when I first got home, uh, the the caregiver who was there with my dad was feeding me, which I'm grateful for, kind of um, took that off my plate of things to worry about. But as things progressed, um, it got more and more difficult to try to make food. Um, we did go to the store and buy some stuff, but it, it just became, first of all, I eat five times a day and that was completely impractical. There was no way I was gonna be able to fit that in. Um, and I, you know, even even eating twice a day was really difficult most of the time. We were spending 12 to 14 hours just tending to my dad's home and cleaning it out and throwing things and donating things and selling things and just all the, all the things. So um, I pretty much ended up um, purchasing all of my meals. So my meal plan went out the window. Um, I was very hit or miss with my vitamins. Um, sometimes I would take them in the morning and then forget the whole rest of the day, mostly because that's kind of tied to my meals too. So if I wasn't eating, then I wasn't taking my vitamins. Um, the one thing that I was pretty consistent with was going to the gym. I ended up skipping cardio for the whole like week, week and a half because I was just drained and just getting through the the weight training video or not videos sorry the weight training um, sessions was hard enough and there was no way I could tack on another 25 minutes of interval cardio there it just wasn't gonna happen so I told all this to my coach um, in my check-in and I gotta tell you it felt really terrible to admit all these things but one thing I'm super honest and First of all, she knows what was going on, so she shouldn't be surprised. Um, second of all, all these things were going on. Like I needed to tend to my dad while he was still here, and I needed to tend to um, his estate after he was gone. So you know that's just the way that it is. Um, I had to prioritize those things. So at least I was still able to to get to the gym. We got that in, and I'm really proud of that. Um, but let me show you my. Um, my current standings. So um, last time I checked in was June 9th and I was really proud of the progress that I had made. Um, I got down to 128.6 pounds, which was really cool. And I was really happy with my, um, with my measurements too. So updating to this time, I did my check-in on July 6th and I obviously have gained some weight um, so I'm now 134.4 pounds and uh, my body fat percentage has gone up a little bit and then my bust, waist, and hip measurements have also gone up. So um, this time the changes between my last check-in and this one 
you can see that everything has increased. Um, there's been an increase in, in weight of 5.8 pounds, um, increase in body fat of 1.5%, and total inches I've gained a, um, 2.5 inches total. So um, kind of bummed, but also like trying to be realistic. You know, it, it, it could have been way worse. Um, I'll admit that we were definitely um, treating ourselves to dessert and stuff like that. So um, it could have been better, but it also could have been way worse. So, you know, whatevs. Um, I have a feeling and a hope, I'm really hoping that a lot of this falls off pretty quickly because um, my water intake was not good either. So definitely staying to on top of water intake helps to shed um, fat more quickly as well. So. We're about 25 days until my wedding, and I'm really hoping that I can get back at least to where I was at my um, June 20, uh, June 9 check-in, because um, I was feeling pretty good. I felt like I was looking pretty good. I feel like I've lost a little bit of muscle mass, um, so I'm hoping to gain that back. I was probably not getting enough protein, um, you know, just buying things and eating whatever. So. Uh, I'm back home now. I'm back on track today. I um, was a little bit off on my macros just because I don't have everything here at the house. So I kind of had to um, get a little creative with some of my meals, but um, I stuck to the, the foods that were already in the meal plan and just kind of built my meals around that. So um, much better today and definitely prioritized protein and all that. So doing much better. Um, and then as far as progress photos, here are the photos. Um, <clears throat> I've been including the very first photo from when I first started this journey. So you can see kind of where I, where this all began um, to where I am now. And um, maybe I'm delusional, but I think my photo this time doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can kind of see like a little bit maybe if you look kind of hard and I, and I think especially in my arms you can kind of tell the difference um, I feel like my arms were and even my legs a little bit were uh, more toned in the June check-in versus the one in July so that is where everything is at and um, and yeah so I don't know yet when my next check-in will be. Um, I'm hoping it'll, I mean, if we still do bi-weekly, so that's every two weeks, so we, we should have one before um, my wedding and um, hopefully things will be looking a lot better then. And yeah, so thank you all so much for following along and um, <clears throat> questions, comments, concerns, interpretive dances, feel free to pop them in the chat below and I will respond as soon as I can um, <clears throat> but yeah so still trying to get back into the swing of things and trying to be gentle with myself and not super judgy like I can be and you know kicking my own ass so i um, trying to have some grace and give myself a break and just get back on track so um, thank you all so much for following along and I will see you next time Bye-bye.